Now, a few days ago, you'll remember that I recorded a video doing, talking about the young woman who wanted to live as a child and the incredibly creepy nature of that. Now, I noticed a lot of people were actually defending her in the comment section, you know, with things like, it's not the state's business what people do in their bedroom, etc. This is not the same thing as pedophilia because they're both consenting adults. However, you could hardly claim that the sexualization of childhood, which is exactly what this is, is not linked to pedophilia. You see, the problem is, if you're a Marxist, you're supposed to remember that the individual interactions between people are a smaller part of the larger whole and that they have a social impact because that's kind of the basis for Marxism. Now, we have re relations between people inside of production and those create the social relations. Now, the same thing goes for sexuality and other parts of human interaction. We know for a fact that uh, things like uh, pornography have an effect on people's minds and that people who are heavily into, you know, the whole lollycon, you know, a lolly hentai thing are proven to be more likely to abuse children. And there's a high correlation between people looking at, you know, lolly hentai and going on to look at actual child pornography. This is called operant conditioning. It's it's a very uh, very common thing. You know, this works not just with pornography, etc., but all human relations in general. They're an operant conditioning that cause people to behave in certain ways. Yes, your individual actions have an effect on the whole. And when you say, well, this is my choice, my what I should be able to do, this is, this is the right wing, my freedom. It is. It's the same thing. It's it's a liberal individualism to to basically argue. Well, I can do whatever I want in my personal life because that has no effect on society as a whole. This is a very anarchist position to hold. The don't tell me what to do, uh, you know, in my personal life, even though those things have a very real effect on the society at large. Now, this is one of those, and I guess for the lack of a better term, intersection between a uh, right wing reactionary thinking and anarchism. Because it's essentially the same idea. It's ignoring what, how the actions of the individual affect the whole of society. So we do know the fetishization of childhood does lead to child, child abuse. And to just simply say, well, no, this doesn't count because they're two consenting adults is meaningless and doesn't change that fact. Uh, you can point out the fact that they're both adults all you want. But the fact is, the fetishization of childhood, or, you know, being a child, leads to child abuse. And that is a proven fact. So, you know, you can, you can throw at me, or throw in general your, you know, stop telling me what to do. This is your liberal individualism showing. And these things do have a very real effect on society at large. Thank you for watching. Why don't you go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe, and share on various social media. And if you want, you can head over to my Patreon page and show your support. Or you can head over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.